I have a question for you. Can you know God personally? It's a great question. And it's one of those questions that has only three answers. Yes, no, and I don't know. I never like that third answer, I don't know, to be the definitive answer. I want people to be able to definitively answer that yes or no. I'm here today to tell you that yes, you can know God personally. Jesus Christ, the Son of God, became a man, born on Christmas, grew up and lived a perfect life on your behalf, and then on the night before he died, he took bread and he took wine, used in the Passover Seder, and he said these words, and I'm, recording, I'm reading the recording from Matthew. Take, eat, this is my body. And then he took a cup, and when he had given thanks, he gave it to them, saying, Drink of it, all of you, for this is my blood of the covenant, which is poured out for many for the forgiveness of sins. Jesus Christ became a human being, just like you and me, in the same way that you and I become human beings. And yet he comes to us in a very personal way. He gives us his body and his blood in, with, and under the bread and the wine to eat and to drink in the sacrament of the altar, the Lord's Supper, Holy Communion. That's about as personal as it gets. But Jesus, about a week later, a little over a week later, takes it one step further. He comes up to his disciple Thomas and he says these words, put your finger here and see my hand and put out your hand and place it in my side. Jesus points Thomas to his crucifixion wounds to show Thomas that he really is who he says he is. Jesus, the one who was crucified, but is now alive again. And Thomas exclaims, my God and my Lord, just as we are invited to take and eat, to take and drink and to believe in Jesus Christ as our personal Savior. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for becoming a man in your Son Jesus Christ and being our personal God. Help those who are watching and listening right now to know you personally, just as you want to know them and want to have a personal relationship with them. I pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Thanks for joining me for this devotional moment from St. Matthew Lutheran Church School and Early Childhood Center. I pray that God will richly bless you and join us again next time for the devotional moment from St. Matthew.